that's my piece, which is called Within and Across Boundaries, mm. and that is James Post's piece, who I'm partnered with next to it here. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's written somewhere. It's right there. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, there you go. That's oh, no. Oh, no, no, it's on no, the list. No, the words It's on there. the printout, yeah. There's the words on there. Um, now, what I did, um, when we drew the names out um, in March 2020, um, I, imme I was a bit thrown out of the skull of the tattoo artist. I thought, oh, wow. <laughs> How do I realise that he made art as well? And I contacted him soon after. And what I did, in fact, and I made a decision on this pretty early on, I kept a sketchbook, Exhibit A, <laughs> And I pretty much, well, it helped form what I was going to do, and it also jumps off on a few other points, and in fact I've carried the book on to the end, even after the piece was made, and some of the fragments of the ideas have gone, and I'll share a bit of that as we go. So the, um, starting from that, I actually sent down, I wrote a list of names down, which I used some of, and I sent him a list of names in an artwork, um, as such. I'm, it's more about what he sent me, so I won't mm -hmm. go into more, but that's what I actually sent. Mm. to James as a piece for him to work Very with. Nice. And about a week, and I started already just playing around with some images, and then he sent me this as a statement, which is also on the wall, but that is the actual book, book version, which is, I never thought I would achieve much in a year during the global pandemic, locked down, isolated and afraid. So his very much was a piece in the moment of that time. Very direct. I mean, by then we were in 2021. But it's obviously reflective. And I thought, oh, oh well, that's interesting. Oh, that's quite, quite heavy. Some of you might have been a, a bit on the edge of things. And so I kept getting the image of a kind of a cocoon of somebody trying to protect themselves, to, to get away, you know, to not get attacked and to try and make sure they survive something, uh, perhaps mentally or whatever. That's what struck with me. And straight away, with some of these pieces in the book, I started thinking of little kind of central protective areas and arrows. Now, this is really work I was kind of doing in a different context, very politically. Um, if anyone's seen my work in the last few years, I'm dealing a lot with kind of conflicts and, mm. you know, positive forces being attacked by, by dark forces, being in Brexit, in America with Trump and everything, like liberal values. And they have been, that's been a central core of a lot of what I've done in the last couple of years. So already I had this structure of something in the middle and something trying to attack it from outside, and that stayed with it. And I, mean, I won't go through all the pages of the um, sketchbook. There's some. There was the image of an hourglass, because one of the big things that we had was over, uh, over the um, pandemic was time. You know, time that we were sitting out in our ha home. Some of us, I know Mark as a school teacher was able to teach online the whole way through it, but some of us didn't. <laughs> we were getting paid and so on. But it was the boredom at times as well of when is this thing going to end and what are we going to do? So, and as it happened, in the year 2020, I did make a couple of digital prints about the home, which some of these, like this element, which is a plan of the house we bought um, in 2019. And I sort of um, wanted to use that. So the central part of it was very much, it's an idea I've had for years that I've never used. Mm. Um, and it's about, it was very much about boundaries and borders and how we, we sort of um, had to live within certain, certain borders. And so in many ways it was the bed, that's like, well I suppose if you're married and you share it with someone, you share that space, but often, apart from inside the first line of a like, ball or somewhere where you go to. And then it became the house, the front and the back, you know, the amount of times I looked out the front and back window and thinking, you know, in the week, we could go out, we were restricted in Britain, particularly there were certain restrictions, they were saying how often you should go out a day and exercise and things mm -hmm. like that. So and then that's the town of Shoreham by Sea that I live in on the south coast. And that's in there. So it was these layers of boundaries that went beyond us. That very much more of what, and that was in a way of what James was saying. I felt locked down and afraid. I was getting that kind of vibe from that. So that worked across. And in a way, I suppose some of my favourite artists, people like Jasper Johns, I like the way they've always recycled images, these same images in the work. Mm -hmm. So in a way, um, a piece that comes up on the video screen that we got, um, uh, that I can't breathe, we all breathe piece. Um, and so on. I used all the flags in the world. So on the micro, they were my boundaries, very localised in most cases. And then I've got like, at the same time, 2020 was also the whole George Floyd thing and the Black Lives Matter and all that kind of that kind of conflict yeah. that came out of that. And I made the other piece in direct response to that mm -hmm. with all the flags of the world. So mm -hmm. and I'd already done all the 
arduous work actually putting that together. <laughs> I had them already, you know, I've um, yeah, yeah. then reused them in a kind of miniature way and placed them all over the piece like this. So you've got the macro and the micro with it. And then, like, the idea of, on a wider level, humanity. about Because at the same time, we were divided, we had things, but people came together a lot yeah. in that time for a yeah. lot of things. And so, you know, and I see the pieces I made about, you know, humanity and the anti-vaxxers and all that. I like to use all the kind of human skin tones. <laughs> so yours is really is 2020, isn't it? I mean, yours yeah. is more so fixed. More so that. fixed in yeah. that period of time. Yeah. Using things that I was using, but looking at the thing of humanity... Um, you know, good versus bad, and those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. Um, so do you think that? Uh, just, sorry, is it, but is that? Do you, do you think when when you look back, because you you were talking about some of the good things, but also you know, you know, the George Floyd and yeah. I mean, the other piece had that particularly, and, but think, these things are those like the arrows. I mean, oh, the arrow is something I took a while before because when the whole Brexit thing was going on, it, that became the government's graphic, get Brexit done, and there was an arrow, yeah. and I hated that, and I did use it a lot in, in pieces, you know, previous, so I still see that. And also, I made, I haven't used them in this piece, but some of you have probably seen. So you've got you like, up a mirror. Too. These coronavirus kind of virus things, but I used the Brexit arrow as part of that. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, no, it's just like, do you, do you think you were, you, you're like showing the, the year, or, or do, you, do you have a take? Do you it's think, the year, do you have it, a moral it went beyond the year. Is it a good year? Or bad? Um, <laughs> well, no, it was a mixture. I mean, it was a bad year in the wider thing of life. This is where the might be the matter. Yeah, a good year that I think humanity in a lot of ways came together. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you saw that, you know, with a lot of the, you know, and I think the voice of young people started to come up. Mm. Um, yeah. Personally, I didn't have a bad time. Yeah, no, you know, yeah, yeah. I was a bit bored and I was so on. And I, well, I didn't actually get it until much later after we were vaccinated. Yeah. I didn't get paid until in fact, not long ago. But um, I sort of, um, you know, I was, I was saying this to my friend on the way over here earlier that. You know, I had a studio at home, and actually, at some ways, it just felt like being back at art school when you got paid some money. You know, <laughs> sort of thing, and you could make work. And I think artists and creatives, to a certain extent, manage their pay, because mm. certainly artists, that's what they do, they just go off and make work. Yeah. So the idea of being a little bit isolated sometimes doesn't yeah. really bother you. It's just you get a bit bored and you want to go and do something else. Like, yeah, you can't go yeah. down the pub with your friends, for example, when we had all the restrictions. Mm -hmm. I was so, really well, curious, I mean, you know, with, sorry, the, with the whole exhibition, the thing that, you know, you know when you, you, you have spoken to a lot of different artists, yeah. um, not necessarily knowing what they're doing, but I, I started to ha wonder if this was going to be a pessimistic show. Mm. I, I was, you know, with oh, yeah, we, yeah. we live in a really That's challenging time, you know, but I don't really get that. Now no. we're here, and no. that's the thing. Yeah, you're right. Pessimistic. I mean, a couple of things I'd just like to talk about, I mean, you know, James, if you're there, could talk about his piece, and there's references in that that I don't know yeah. without talking to it. But certainly, I mean, I sent you a list of words. I'm not going to read them out, but there were generally a list of words with things, some about conflict, some about boredom, and things like that. Um, but he actually, you know, we had one Zoom conversation where we just sort of sounded each other out, and independently. But then at, at, at the start of 2022, I got a package from him, and he, he sent me a couple of, I can't think what, what you might call them cartoons. They're the thing that tattooists do their work on. Oh, the Flash. A Flash, yeah. And he sent me a couple yeah. of those with them. There's drawings on his piece here, right. this one. And he asked me to put something in and send them back to him. There was two. Yeah. He said he'd then send me back stuff again. And I said, well, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm already quite a way through my piece, so that probably won't go into that. But and they're on to this thing. They were, they were things, and this is the... Um, Called Jester, and this is our Prime Minister Boris Johnson. <laughs> and I've actually got him on the side in a sense like that because that really caused a lot of the anger and the aggravation and bad things. I'm not going to go into half of those, but I just this, this totally trivial man who's conned his way into the office that he's in <laughs> and so on. That, you know, right. and, and America had their own version, an even more dangerous one, which mm. unfortunately, mm -hmm. at the time, being. indeed got rid of but um you right, know, for now for now yeah <laughs> so that's you know but i mean that was it's something that does you know blight a lot of things i felt i thought there's a lot of optimism in that piece. i want to keep a bit of the pessimism but yeah, the exactly. idea of this joke figure as a sort of as this mm -hmm. basically this although in a way court jesters can be quite fun this guy certainly isn't mm -hmm. yeah. but you know well, it's a, it's just so you know, just so you know, Peter, uh, Darren just popped on. Yeah. So as Julia Reese. So hi, Darren. He says, uh, "Sorry, couldn't be there. Talk is good. Work looks fascinating." And, yeah. uh, and so this, and his, his name's Julia Reese. But this is not. <laughs> this is Darren O'Brien, not Julia Reese. Okay. <laughs> so I guess Julia is re somewhat related. Julia was somebody who used to be 
Most part high up at ASC. Oh, yeah, that's because oh, yeah. I see the logo. Okay, right on. So, hi, hi Darren. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. There we go. So, yeah, so that's the piece there. And then, yeah, I mean, I just um, I wanted to make these sort of layers. And I started mm. playing with the idea of borders, which is a, a yeah, project yeah. I'm quite fascinating. How a line in the ground mm. determines what, you, you know, we're seeing it now with Poland and Ukraine, people who are escaping in Ukraine and Poland. That line in the ground for be the historical arbitrary, because I know a lot of the American mm. borders are staged, mm. they just drew a like, straight line and that's it. Nice. But some are political. Mm -hmm. And that's the subject that's always fascinating. You know? There is, um, I think when I, at some point, maybe at the end of the year, there is something I, I'd like to try and develop with mm. around the theme of like, borders. That's, yeah. Um, yeah. that's always been a fascination for me. So yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, well, we had that show a long time ago, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, but we didn't, you know, Borderline, Borderline. although they were, I mean, that was just because we had English and Scottish artists. I, yeah. I don't know if anybody, Stevie did, because he did that. Mine was, mine was national. Yeah, yeah, we were, yeah. Anyway, we'll have to Borderline. show you that. <laughs> but, um, For sure. Well, I, 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 those paintings were shapes of countries. You know, and if you come around to this Borderline. side of um, James's piece. Yeah, we'll go this side now. Um, this is James's piece. I mean, this was a page out of the other sketchbook, this mm -hmm. bit here. That I sent, I adapted it. Again, this is the thing I was talking about. It's a piece I've, I've not actually, I've not always finished it, but I, I had this stencil cut, which is like a coronavirus virus symbol with the Brexit arrows on. I had three of them. Uh -huh. And I've actually um, done these spin paints. And this is the idea of the roulette table, because in very much the ways our government, you know, kind of doesn't make a decision. It sort of bets the house on both red and black. And the mm -hmm. claims are the one, mm -hmm. you know, mm. sort of thing. And so I, um, mm. I sort of started playing with that idea of a roulette with the. And I always wanted to use my spin painting machine for years, and had a reason to. But I finally did, which was good. So uh, it was quite cool. I sent those back, and then he's used them in that, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. So I've actually got some work into James's piece. Mm. Um, so, but yeah, that's generally the piece. If anyone's got any questions about yeah. that before we move on to something else, sure. Well, I, I, I just have uh, I, I, you brought up uh, Jasper Johns, and I felt like that there was a, a deep connection to Johns in this work because of just the target feel with yeah. the with the maps. And Over the years, so, yeah, a very big connection. Yeah, to and, in my and I wanted to ask, like, <laughs> was it intentional that the shape was was of like the coronavirus? Is that because um, you have like although it's a it's yeah. a it's a circle. Not there, I mean, there's like one. there are like the, uh, the the things at the end. It looks like there could be spikes, you know. Yeah. So is that be. intentional? Um, not for the coronavirus thing itself. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, the arrows have had the reasons and the things that I've done. I didn't. I quite like the idea of a circular piece. I mean, yeah. Only enough. Mark is someone who's known for making circular pieces quite a lot in the time I've known him. For once, that actually hasn't, <laughs> which is interesting. Yeah. But um, so I suppose subconsciously that I, that form was in my head, and I'd I'd made the. The I Can't Feel piece um, early in 2020, which was a series of panels, that, and there's a big circular section of that. So I guess that image symbolising the world, if you like, mm, as a circle, yeah. that, I mean, certainly for that piece, is that, that's what I thought, and that can apply over to this gotcha. as a circle like that. I mean, um, but the, the other John's feature was actually the words onto the piece, which is something he did mm -hmm. at one point. Mm -hmm. That actually, I'll be honest, that was a practicality, because when I put the canvas board on it, didn't quite fit within the size of the surrounding. Right, a little bit so happens. I was thinking, how can I get around this? And that, right. was, the, and that was the problem right. that I solved with that one. Also, I put my name on the bottom down. Form it. follows function. Yeah, right. so that actually worked <laughs> quite well with that. So, um, yeah, so that's, um, it's, it's, I mean, it fits with a lot of work, but it is different from stuff that I've, I've done, mm -hmm. which I actually like, because it's, um, it's got, you know, yeah. different characteristics down there. Um, now, at this moment in time, what's going to happen with this feed is that, we will be adding bits onto it when other artists come in, which will be sort of later on. But we can talk to, obviously, Frank.